Bing bong. Sophie, breakfast is ready. <laughs> Billy, John, I was on my way to work. I thought I'd check on Aunt Sophie. What she's doing fine, okay? That's cool, I want to talk to her. Whoa, John, just let me through. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> really? I haven't changed my mind. I still want you to leave me alone. And Sophie, we're friends. Come on, I care about you. <laughs> <laughs> You're married, Billy. Why don't you try caring about her? I'm gonna be fine. Because I would rather spend the rest of my life in the dark than have to see you with Brooke. Okay, I'll go. For now. <laughs> I don't want you to know, Aunt Sophie, that I still care about you. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was quite a speech. <laughs> when do you plan on telling Billy your blindness is only temporary? <coughs> it's none of his business. I know what you are up to, and Sophie, but the way you are manipulating poor Billy is fine. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You're playing your pity card, pushing him with one hand while throwing him in with the other. I'll be at 12, juice and coffee at 3. Thanks. I'm not manipulating Billy. It's just that I, I'm sick and tired of not getting what I want. Well, tell me about it. For years I've seen Michael, Sidney, Tiffany getting everything their little hearts desire because they didn't care how low they had to sink or who they had to hurt. Like you, I finally wised up. I mean, what do you want besides Billy? I sort of want my old job back. Then go for it. Ask Tiffany to hire you back. John, I can't even button my blouse. How do how you want me to design an ad campaign? To hell, blindness. You are good at what you do. I don't know about that. Sure you do. And you're gonna promise me. No. We're gonna promise each other that from now on we look for number one. Terma Louise forever. Yes, but no driving off cliffs. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
lawyer can meet us the day after tomorrow. Two o'clock. I guess if I've waited this long, I can wait a couple more days. How much do you think Mother left me? Well, maybe you shouldn't start counting your money until you have a chance to see. Daddy, let's face it. Mother loved me. And more than anything, she wanted me to be financially secure. And now that I've followed the last condition of her will by getting married, I know I will be. <laughs> You and Billy will be. That's right. Daddy, I hate to ask you this, especially after all the money you spent in our beautiful wedding, but I'm a little short this month. Do you think you could give me an advance on next month's allowance? If you want an allowance, ask your husband. <laughs> really? I don't think I can do that, Daddy. Time to face it, dear. Like it or not, you have Billy's responsibility now. <laughs> serious this is? Everybody's going to have to testify against you. I'm going to have to testify against you. You think I'll get the death penalty? Kim, if you're not crazy, at best you'll spend the rest of your life in prison. You could at least you could get the death penalty. No. <laughs> you could get the death penalty. No. You could get the death no. penalty. You could get the death penalty. No. Listen to me! I don't want to lose you! So what you have to do is plead insanity! Can you do that? I can! Oh god, Kimberly, you have to! Because then I can't help you. <laughs> And now, TSC's Days of the Week. Ah, oh, you got me! <laughs> Welcome to TSC, man, where every day of the week is a crazy day of the week. And what day of the week is it today? Monday. Monday! Magnificent Mondays. I'm fucking hungover, bro. Let's call this Fuck You Mondays. Uh, what about Tuesday? Terrific Tuesdays. Two Cider Tuesdays, bro. Mm, what about Weedy Wednesdays? Weedy Wednesdays. <laughs> oh man, Thrifty Thursday sure is great. Everything's half price. Thirsty Thursdays. I call it Thirsty Thursdays. Thrifty Thursdays. Thursdays. It's fucking Thrifty Thursdays, Stefan. Thrifty, I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Fucked up Friday! Friday is great here at TSC. Fucked up Friday. <laughs> Not! <laughs> 
<laughs> the everything jacket does everything, literally. The everything jacket does everything, literally. Feeling a little hot? Just rip it off in the middle and it becomes a midriff bearing short jacket. And guess what else? A mini skirt. Still too hot? Just rip the sleeves off and they become cute leg warmers. Still too hot? Just turn on the fan. There's one in the back. There's also a bread baker in the top left hand pocket. Most people say to me, hey Sandy, I sure do get thirsty wearing my jacket. We got it covered. There's drinks in each of the pockets. Mixed drinks too. And don't forget, well, 